When I first started following the presidential election about a year ago, the one thing that I was sure of was that I wasn't really sure of anything. This was a year where the rules didn't really apply. When someone like Donald Trump can rise to the top of the Republican Party, there's pretty much nothing you can take for granted. Donald Trump's success defied pretty much everything we knew about political wisdom. But if there was one thing I was certain of, it's that I wouldn't be apathetic. I would never not care about this election because this election is an incredible thing. It's something that commands your attention just by the sheer craziness of events that are happening. And yet, a little less than a month after the California primary, which effectively ended Bernie's run for the nomination, I find myself positively not giving a shit about anything that goes on in the election. It goes beyond just ignoring the election. My brain literally filters out any news related to it. I've been following the Brexit and the aftermath of it really closely, as well as other events, but I've just completely stopped caring about the presidential race. Why is this? Well, I think it's because Bernie Sanders inspired in me something that I've never felt from any politician before or since. For the first time, I felt like somebody was voicing my concerns, voicing my opinions, and voicing what I truly believe were the issues. Here was a man who for decades had been fighting outside the establishment for causes that he was passionate about. Here was a man who would not give in to special interests, who would fight for what he believed in, who said what he meant. This was the year of the outsider, I thought. Bernie Sanders has a shot. And I think the reason that Donald Trump has done so well is because this is an anti-establishment year. Donald Trump is somebody who speaks against the powers that be. So does Bernie. Now, obviously, I disagree with Donald Trump's assessments of what the problems are. But the point is, is that this was a year where I felt that for the first time that I could remember... This election truly grabbed me, even more so than 2008 did. So after Bernie's loss, I thought to myself, well, Bernie lost, but I can still pay attention to the race, right? And yet I don't now. Because now I'm forced to choose between Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, and a third-party candidate. I've reluctantly come to the conclusion that in order to keep the Supreme Court liberal and in order to prevent the complete catastrophe that a Trump presidency would be, I'm going to vote for Hillary in November. But past that, why do I even care anymore? I mean, we have as a nominee for the Republican Party someone who I find insipid, repugnant, and frankly, crazy. On the Democratic side, we have somebody who literally represents the embodiment of the establishment, whose opinions are as malleable as clay, who will go wherever the wind takes her as long as it's politically expedient for her. Don't get me wrong, when it comes to Hillary versus Trump, I'm pretty sure that Hillary would do a better job and would actually know what she was doing. But she's not going to change anything. She's effectively running for a third term for Barack Obama. And as a college student who is making minimum wage and worried about the future, I don't feel like she connects with me. And when I don't feel a connection to the political process, I become detached from it. And so I think because Bernie Sanders inspired in me so much passion and so much fervor and so much vigor, now that he's gone, that passion is gone too. And with it, my general caring for anything that happens. So yeah, vote for Hillary. It could be worse, I guess, but who cares at this point? Do you agree or disagree? Do you feel that Bernie supporters should do more than just agree to vote for Hillary? Do you think they should vote for her at all? What do you think will happen between now and November to make this election as interesting as it was during the primaries? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, etc., etc. Andrew Walker out.